Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class. Our textbook is Weekend 3 and today, inshallah, we will cover Unit 10, A Healthy Life, Reading and Writing on page 79. This lesson will be presented by me, Teacher Mazana Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Saleh al -Ujan. So let's begin. Quick revision for our last lesson. In our last lesson, we did listen to a chant, where we said that before this chant, we learn five important or six important things that we need to do if we got up early in bed, and also uh, six other bad things that we will have if we got or if we wake up late in bed. So, for example, one of these uh, six good things that we should have when we get up, we said that we should get up and also uh, we should uh, uh, eat uh, breakfast, we should get some exercise, and also uh, we should do uh, uh, our homework, and we should not spend uh, too much time on TV and have three meals and drink a lot of water. So all of these were the good things that we can do if we wake up early uh, at, uh, 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 and if we get up early. And what about the bad things that we will have when we wake up or when we got up uh, late? We said that uh, we will skip breakfast and we'll be late for school or work and also um, we will be uh, hungry or starving all time because our sleep is not organized and also we're going to spend too much time on TV or on computer games because we don't practice, because we feel sleepy all the time. And this is what was our chant is all about. Our chant was about what to get, what are the good things that you will get from uh, waking up early in bed and also what are the bad things that you will have if you are late in bed. So let's remind ourselves of the good things and also the bad things that you will have if you got up early or you are late. So here in this chant we said last time what we need to do is we're going to listen, read and then chant. So here we have two parts of this chant. The first part is when we got early to bed, when we sleep early, and also the second part is when we are late to bed or when we sleep or stay up late. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to listen to this chant twice and after this you're, I'm going to read it while pointing to these words and I would like you to read it after me. And after this, if we finish the two parts, then we can chant it again and learn what are the good things that we will have from waking up or getting up early to bed and the bad things uh, if we uh, wake up late uh, from bed. So, let's start listening to the first part. Early to bed, early to bed and early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy and wise. One more time, early to bed, early to bed and early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy and wise. So here, uh, I'm going to point and I would like you to follow with me and read as well. But before we do this, let's get to know first what do we mean by this chant. So here in this chant it says, if you are early to bed, if you go early uh, to bed and you, if you sleep early, what you're going to have, you're going to rise. You're going to wake up early as well. And what will this make you? It will make you healthy, in a good health, and also wealthy, and also it will make you wise. It will make you 
smart it will make you know uh, and you have you will have enough time to do some activities to have good breakfast and to know how to plan your day so let's read it one more time and as I said I'm going to point and I would like you to read after me early to bed early to bed and early to rise makes you healthy wealthy and wise very good now let us move on to the second part of this chant the second part of this chant is called late to bed and here of course you're going to listen to what will happen if we uh, go to bed late and if we sleep late to stay up all night and sleep late let's see what are the bad things that will happen to us if we went to bed uh, late so let's listen late to bed late to bed and late to rise makes you sleepy grumpy and tired one more time late to bed late to bed and late to rise makes you sleepy grumpy and tired so now we will going to read it while I'm pointing and I would like you to read it after me but before we do this let's get to know what will happen if we are late to bed so if we went late to bed and this will make, uh, make uh, us of course wake up late as well and what will this uh, make us it will make us sleepy sleepy wanting to sleep all day and we never want to do any activities we just want to uh, sit all day all night because we are feeling sleepy we didn't have enough sleep also this will make you grumpy grumpy angry not in a good mood you will have a bad mood for the rest of the day because you didn't get enough sleep and also tired you will feel tired you will feel exhausted why because you didn't have enough sleep and then you will be sleepy all the time in a bad mood all the time and this eventually will make you tired so I'm going to read it now one more time I'm going to point and I would like you to read it after me late to bed late to bed and late to rise makes you sleepy grumpy and tired very well so this is what uh, wa was our chant about let's listen me and you let's chant it again one more time before we move on to the next exercise early to bed early to bed and early to rise makes you healthy wealthy and wise late to bed late to bed and late to rise makes you sleepy grumpy and tired we also said that don't forget to practice this chant in pairs you and other partner maybe from your classmates or from your family members or one of your friends where the first partner will chant early to bed first then the second one will say late to bed and then you can change this will help you practice this chant and also help you to know what uh, what will happen if you are early to bed or if you are late to bed so let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson at the end of this lesson we hope that you will be able to 
ask and answer questions about aches and give reasons. And to do this, I would like you to open your books on page 79. I would like you please to open your books on page 79. Now, on page 79, as you can see on your books, you will have four pictures with four different questions. And what we're going to do with these pictures and question is, we're going to listen, read, and match with these pictures, and we can mime and practice in pairs. So as you can see in this picture, you will have, or you can see, people with different aches, with, with different pains. So let's read each of these pains, and after this, we can make question about what are the things that they did to, uh, to have this pain. So, for example, here we have the first one. The first ache is, I have a headache. Say after me, I have a headache. I have a headache. So, what do you think we mean by a headache? Usually, a headache is something we have in our head, a headache. So, let's ask this person a question, so we can know what happened for him or what happened for her to have this headache. So, we can have a question like this. Did you play too many computer games? Did you play too many computer games? So this is the question. Okay, you said you have a headache. So did you play too many computer games? Let's listen to the answer and uh, figure out. Yes, I did. I know I shouldn't, but the new games were really exciting. So now we know the reason. Because he said, yes, I did. I know I shouldn't, but the new games were really exciting. This is why he had a headache. This is why he had a headache. Now let us move on to the other person and see what kind of an egg he has or she has. So now, let's ask this person this question so we know why he or she has this toothache. So, the question is, do you brush your teeth every day? Do you brush your teeth every day? So this is the question. Why do you have this headache? Do you brush your teeth every day? Well, let's read the answer. He or she says, well, usually, but sometimes I forget. Usually, but sometimes I forget. I forget to brush my teeth. This is why I have a toothache. Now, we know what kind of pain they have. Now we know, we ask them a question, and we know the reasons behind their pains. Now it is time to match. From these two pictures, what do you think the person who has a headache, which one of them? It is, of course, this one. And one, wh wh which one of these who have a toothache? It is this girl. Now let us move on to the third one. So here we have left number three and number four. Let's go straight to number three and read it. I have a stomachache. I have a stomachache. So, this person has a stomachache. So, we need to ask him a question. Did you have breakfast in the morning? Did you have breakfast in the morning? You said you have stomachache, so did you have breakfast in the morning? Let's read the answer. No, I didn't. I know I should, but I wasn't hungry. So, this is why you have the stomachache, because you skipped breakfast. You skipped breakfast. And you remember what are the bad things that we said we should not do? Skipping breakfast. So, this is why he or she has 
a stomachache. Now let's read the last one we have, which is, I have an earache. I have an earache. So he or she has an earache. Let's uh, ask uh, them a question. Do you clean your ears? Do you clean your ears? You say you have uh, an earache. So, do you have or do you clean your ears? Let's listen to the answer. Well, usually, but sometimes I forget. So, this is why you have an earache, because you forget to clean them. Now, we talked about these pains, we asked them a question, and we know the answers. Now, it is time to match. So, which one of these two pictures do you think is the person who has a stomachache? It is, of course, the second one. And which one of these uh, person who has an eric? It is the first one. So, at the end, it is important that you can read and practice the early to bed chant by yourself and also to ask and answer questions about aches and give uh, reasons. So, now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.